Today we're going to unbox the Minty Fresh Cooperative game. Mint Cooperative. Hey everybody, I'm Stork from Stork Plays Games, and today we're going to look at the Mint series. Now hopefully you have watched uh, some previous videos where I talk about um, Mintworks Mint Delivery. So, tiny worker placement game, but it's very good. Mint Delivery, a tiny pickup and delivery game, also good. And when they came out with Mint Cooperative, which cooperatives I absolutely adore, I had to check it out. Being designed by Brian Lewis uh, and Jonathan Gilmore, who designed Dinosaur Island, which is my favorite game. So I was definitely going to instantly back this, just because I already had these two, and uh, Brian was designing this one, so I definitely wanted to check that out. Um, there is another one coming. It is Mint uh, Control, I believe is an area control game. So that one uh, coming later. Now these originally, I talked about them because I used to camp and have an RV, which I sold, but I still think that these are fantastic games for traveling, um, especially in a camper on that little camper table. I was We were always looking for something that we could play um, on our table. Everybody loves their big games. I love them all. As you can see behind me, I love my big box games. But to be able to grab a game that is worth playing and in a tiny, tiny box that I could put, I can probably put these in my pockets. So, I mean, I know I can put one of them in my pocket, but I actually just had all three of them in my pockets. So, to be able to take this with you in a purse or a pocket, or like I said, just throw it in your, your backpack, camper, whatever, and be able to play it in a small footprint is very valuable, or was to me as far as going camping, but I think that you guys probably would agree if uh, you take a look at these. So I would recommend checking these guys out. I'm not gonna spend too much time on those. What I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna unbox Mint Cooperative um, because I'm excited to play it get rid of that so now this one is published by at the time of publishing was 524 and they have now changed to Poketo I believe is how you pronounce it Poketo so you can check out their new stuff these um, this is the Kickstarter edition so I believe it has some upgrades like these superhero meeples I'm gonna bust them out here so you can get a better look at them but just want to call that out because if you bought this retail they may or may not have these upgraded guys i don't really remember i think uh that they might have just been meeples except for the kickstarter stretch goal or something of that nature but they're very cool so most of the games are centered around these tokens these red red and white tokens um or different. I think one of them has a green tokens. They're mints, for the lack of a uh, better term, but they come in, uh, as you could see, these mint boxes. The tokens look like mints. They have a bunch of those. But this one also has um, little superhero meeples. And what appears to be, let me make sure you get a good look at those, some dice. So we've got some um, purple dice, and it looks like one. One, two, three are white, and four, five, six are black. So that's interesting. The pips are very cool. I'm going to dump all these guys down. Um, these meeples are single-sided, as you can probably see. So only one side's got the cool painted people on them, but that is all right. So let's get in here, get our rule book. One thing about these, um, your rule book is a folded up sheet of paper because it has to be able to fit inside there. So you gotta be a little bit careful opening it up so you don't rip it because it is folded in there. But as you can see, I did it easily, which means you can too. Now this is probably not in frame, so I'm gonna move it around just because um, I zoomed in real far to be able to see the components on this guy. So I'm going to hope this set up that you can see this here set up. Um, most of these games, they set up just like this with, some, with these cards. You're going to lay these cards down and you're just going to move around the cards. They do sell some mats as like upgrades and add-ons. Um, but the rules are very straightforward for these. Easy to teach, easy to learn, easy to play so you're not sitting around. Uh, wasting a bunch of time 
trying to get into the game, but yet it's still a, a meaty enough game. Okay, so that is everything in there. So I'm gonna set this guy off to the side and we'll look at these cards if I can get them open. Like that. Cut, so I can get that open. Excellent. The Mint Cooperative has saved the day. Mint Co-op Victory, so there's a little Hashtag for your victory. Oh, and a defeat. Womp womp. I like games that put those little cards in and you can be silly on social media and put that up. It's kind of fun. Um, so these tell you what the die faces mean. Uh, this has the map for your setup that I just showed you there in uh, the rule book. Guessing this is a countdown to defeat, as most co-op games have. And then here's our spaces, so cinnamon center, and then there shows you how many spaces that you can put stuff on. Freshness Falls, Gumdrop Gully, Licorice Landing, these actually are player colors, so this might be our own. And these have a north symbol on them. Peppermint Pines, yeah, these are all the colors of the meeples, so these are probably our home bases or something. Ginger Vitus. So these uh, are the, the enemies, and they're always themed with puns, which I appreciate. I love a good pun. So Ginger Vitus, um, and it tells you kind of how to set up and about that one. Gorillic, so a garlic gorilla. Gorillic. Sir Hal Etosis. Nick Oteen. And Placula. So these are some very funny and cool uh, villains. I'm excited to check those out. I like that a lot. Um, let's see if I can get these open. I want to know who doesn't love a good pun too. I gotta love a good pun. If you got a good pun, write it in my uh, comments. I'd love to hear them. I love good puns. Um, these cards also have a north face on them, so they're north, showing which way is north. Um, and this appears to be the board setup, if I could find what I did with that card. I had a card to set it. What did I do with it? Oh, there it is. Map. North. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, one, two, one, two, one. So, here we go. That's got two mints on it. Two mints. Three mints. Three mints. Mayhem. Mayhem can be good. And this appears to be our trouble deck. So trouble deck. And lastly, there we go. Okay. Uh, we got some more trouble here. Trouble, trouble, trouble. Let's flip those over. So they have little people in different spots. Hope you can see that. Uh, yeah. And then different numbers of mints on them. So there's a trouble deck. Stunt. Got a stunt deck. And it says this should help. And it's got numbers and different. Uh, reduce regional panic by seven. So these probably are good cards for us. <clears throat> and I will say that. Purple is purple, brown here is brown. Maybe green is that one, blue is that one, black is that one. There's another purple, but it's different. General gumdrop. I think this is probably our board setup because these colors are all here. This says Citizen Cinemite. Fantastic freshman. Oh, these are our um, these are our player colors. So I bet these actually set up CC. Yeah, and then these have the symbols. So if we were to set up our board, and I hope this is right. I'm just guessing, but it would go something like this, maybe. Get this stuff out of the way. Uh, 
So something like that, except for where you can see all of them. And then it gives us places to stick mints. So that would be that. And where was I? Oh, we were looking through these. So the Fantastic Freshmen, these are our superheroes. General Gumdrop, Liberty Licorice, Peppermint Piazza, nope, Pizzazz, Peppermint Pizzazz. The Super Spear, that's it. So that's it, that's everything inside the box of Mint Cooperative. Um, like I said, especially if you guys travel or are looking for little kind of games, I would check out the Mint series. They are, they're pretty, uh, pack a pretty good punch for a little tiny box and they are very inexpensive. So well worth trying out for sure. Um, and you know, my group, we, we play these sometimes, not even like just normal play. Um, I had somebody just the other day saying, man, I haven't played that mint game in a while. I'd really like to check that out. And that was uh, these two. So this one will hit the table very soon. Um, probably frequently because it's a cooperative and it's small, easy to get out, play quickly. So that's it, guys. Thank you oh so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, if you want my shelves, you can buy them through the link in the description, the box thrones. If you're looking for a cool shirt with a cartoon stork on it, check out my merch shop. It's also in the description, Stork Plays Games. Not this shirt, but there are shirts that I'm normally wearing. Um, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, at Stork Plays Games. Thank you guys so much. I will see you next time. Come play a game with me.